Juanita say anything? Not one, not two, not three, but four profitable days in a row on the Sharp Stakes program. I mean, come on. We are so hot right now. It's like ever since we started this YouTube series, we've just caught fire. Evidently, I'm the good luck charm for Sharp Stakes. Nobody else. But Sharp Stakes could be your luck. good luck charm. I'm not going to lie. But let's break down this day. We had another great day. Not as profitable the last, as the last three days, but profits, profits. So I'm certainly not complaining. Today, we had a total of 17 bets and we hit on five of them. And, you know, to blind eye, you might think, you know, a five for 17 rate. That's only a 30% win rate. How are you making money on that? Well, don't forget, we are finding extremely high value plays with the algorithm. And, and these payouts aren't really low payouts, whether it's minus 150, minus 200. You're seeing plus 300, plus 400, plus 500 plays. And that's why we only need to hit at about a 25 to 30% win rate to you know come out with great profits um but let's break down this let's break on break down this day um we got our our big wins we got a close call and we got decent amount of bad beats today but to start biggest play of the day has got to be the joker himself joker came through today denver nuggets to win and jokic 28 plus points highlight that one right here now, for those of you, you see the siren, you knew that was a high-value play right away, so hopefully you guys got on that. Unfortunately for me, I'm limited on party sports now, so I was only able to play like $40 on that bet. So I hope you guys who are on the um, the $2,000 bankroll, whatever bankroll you're on, hopefully you're able to max that place out, max that play out, because that hit with ease. And if you were watching this game, like, I'm just looking at the highlights now. Jokic. Jokic did his thing. Um, so did Murray. Murray, Murray and Joker both. I want to say they both had triple doubles. It was it was ridiculous. So, Joker played extremely well. That brought in you know, on a two thousand dollar bankroll, two hundred and seventy five dollars. Um, and for those of you who are on a lower bankroll who haven't got up to that size yet, you're still making a really good amount of money on that single play. And then the close call for today would have to be again Joker. I mean, come on. 24 plus points, 10 plus assists, and 12 plus rebounds. Now, the points and the rebounds hit easily. If we, if we go to the stat sheet here, let me just see. Let's pull up box score. So we needed Jokic 12 rebounds, 24 points, and 10 assists. Now, the rebounds, he had 20. That hit easily. Points, he had 32. But assists, we got exactly 10 assists. And that was the final leg of that, um, that three-piece. And luckily, he got those assists. And... Um, bet victor which has been you know a bit slow recently we got a nice win there that was a good um i want to say that was an 80 dollar win let me double check yeah 86 dollars here um hopefully you guys were able to max that out hopefully you got on that play because that was a close call but a win's a win so let's go um and just some other winners for today we had you know butler and murray 20 points each that hit Jokic and butler combined for 50 plus they had 60 that hit bichette and bassett that hit. So we had a ton of winners today. We came out profitable. Um, I really don't want to talk about this, but these close calls, man. I'm going to start with Brittany Griner. I don't know what happened. We needed her to have 26 plus points. I don't even want to show you guys this. She had 24. We missed out by a basket and Oh, as much as that as much as that sucks, you know, that's just part of the game. We have some ones where we barely win and we have some ones that we barely lose on. And I think with Brittany Griner, that would have been, yeah, a $93 payout on the two thousand dollar bankroll. Um, regardless of whatever bankroll again, you're that's a big play and that, that would have brought in a, a really good amount of money. And we missed out by a basket, or funny enough, if she would have made her free throws. Yeah, man. If she was shooting those free throws like Curry, we would have hit that prop. <sighs> Today. Can't complain. Bounce back. And then another close call, like LAFC. I don't know if you guys saw this. I'm gonna play this quick, but we needed Vela. We had a couple props on the, the FC game, um, but one specifically, Vela just to score. And this guy had two penalties and he missed both penalties. So this is the second Five penalty. Games. Let me put it down. Involved. So he missed the first penalty, and then the goalkeeper ended up coming off the line early, so he got another penalty. And then he missed the second penalty. Like, me personally, I'm not missing two penalties in a row. Put me on the pitch. 
I'm going to do a so after I make the first one. But that was unfortunate. That would have been a, I believe, $150 payout. Let me just double check. Yeah, Carlos Vela to score. He had two penalties and he missed both. Like Stuff like that. Oh, just makes you want to... Like, man, I was, I was frustrated. I'm not going to lie. Are you serious right now, bro? No, I'm just trolling. But yeah, that was, that was tough. Um, but again, that's just part of it. You have a couple close wins. You have a couple close losses. And even with those two losses, Griner and Vela, even though we barely missed on those, we still came out profitable. I'll show you guys my spreadsheet for the day. June 7th, I came out with a total profit of $75, and that brought my running total to $13.50. Um, and $75, of course, it's, it's lower than the last three, but come on, $75 in your pocket, four profitable days in a row. We are on fire right now. You guys need to get on the program. Like, players, what are you doing? Players got to play right now. We, we got to... We got to make some money, all of us. So, you know, hop on the program. Let's let's ride these out together and um, hit the link down below, sharpsticks.ca. But that's all for tonight. We'll be back tomorrow for knock on wood, five days in a row of profit. But, yeah, tune in. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for showing love. And we'll be back soon.